you saw it on the way here. It smelled like gas poop. Yeah, but look. Yes. Gas poop and what else? The dumb race car is cool. What is gas poop? Wait, I don't want to be in here when it starts. You won't. Okay, then why am I in here? Are you guys going to go to Cousins today? Yeah. Yeah? Are you? Cedric gave me an owl. An owl? An owl? Yeah. A real one? Hey, are you in the car? Good, Jared's here. we got to push it forward just a little bit. Let's do it. Guys, when the car starts, we have to go somewhere else. Got Mr. Doggo over here. Snooper. My mom and dad just got done practicing racing the drag pack and now they just figured out that they need to change the stator. Yeah, and they wanted to make sure that they could get it done before they left with the copo to go to Bristol. Daddy and mommy let us help. Changing the rear gear for the second time today. You're doing a great job. Thanks. Why is it easier in the Copo versus the drag pack? I can't remember what was in the way in the drag pack. I don't know if it's that wishbone that's on top of the rear end or what. The drag pack was a real pain in the butt. I struggled with that. I did it quick, but it still struggled. Yeah. This one's just kind of like smooth, easy sailing type stuff. I guess it's... So Tech was just here. Coincidentally, just uh, going over educating someone on how to measure the pulleys. Thankfully for us, we've been there, done that. We all know that pulley size matters. Two years ago in Indy, for having the wrong one, so. We're not here to make that mistake again. That's right. We're here following all the rules, making everybody cry. Recap from today's qualifying session. Begins that now. Brought to you by <laughs> E3 Spark Plugs and VP Fuels. <laughs> and who's your tires? And covered Dogs. Covered Dogs. And Mike Ossop Chevrolet Buick. All right. How about those Hoosier tires today, though? They, they pulled through, okay? Because everybody else had a, not everybody, almost everyone had a very hard time getting down that track. And I'll tell you who didn't. This mama right here. We had a <laughs> good so 60 awesome. foot. Had we a good did. 60 foot, you know? It was pretty good and uh, took off, hooked and booked, baby. It uh, redlined a little. Redlined? What's redline mean? That's what everybody says on Instagram. Oh, like, oh Instagram. redline. Oh. Yeah. No? I don't know. I mean, Hit the rev limiter. We were on Is the that chip. What you like on the chip. On the chip. I don't know. There are so many terms in this whole car world. It's very annoying. On the chip is an on NHRA term that we picked up from hanging out with the pro stock guys, okay. which is a really old term. Like if you had an old MSD box, right? You'd be on this chip, little chip, chip, right? Chip off the old block. Yeah, chip off the old block. Yes. Yeah, Anyways, we did Whatever. great. We went out. I had said I wanted an under under. An 810, I wanted an, an 808, to be honest, that's, that's 
I don't know where I came up with that number, but I'm telling you, that's what I wanted, right? We came out, we ran an 810, but qualified number four, left the day number four, and uh, we were on this old uh, red line rev limiting chip for half a second. So that really cost us a lot. I'll call it the RRC. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to make up my own terms because that's what all you dudes do, okay? I'm so don't, over... don't be you dudeing us. I just, it's just disgusting, the terms. <laughs> and then everybody makes fun of me. I'm just over here, whatever. I don't know, something like that in that general vicinity. I RRC'd before I crossed the line. Yeah. Which. Well, why, why, did we, why, why did that happen? Tell them. Well, what happened. Well, from what I understand. <laughs> Which isn't saying much is that our, we changed rear gears this morning. That's right. Because we because thought the weather would not be uh, not super the weather, great. The, the air. weather, the air. air. Again, uh, no, you know no, what I mean. Technical it's the terms same. matter, right? It's, it's the same air, weather, all the above. TTM, the atmosphere, baby. TTM. The atmosphere. That's right. And we missed it. Missed it by and a little bit. It. We missed it by that much. I mean, so, the rev limiter set pretty high in that Copo, <laughs> and we rode it any higher and I, I think the rods will exit the building so no really I mean you get to a point where they stretch and say see you later the rev limiter is a safe spot it's a safe spot I'm just saying you can't raise the rev limiter once I saw where it was at that's pretty high had to uh, swap rear gears again I'm getting really good at that stuff yeah so we put it back yeah, and now uh, it'll just be even better tomorrow so we did notice a little a little fold in the tire, so we'll give we'll it a little off on more our air pressure. Give it a little more air pressure, but other than that, the weather slash air is going to be better tomorrow. So uh, we should only go faster. But then again, so will hopefully everyone else. Yeah. But they also might just spin. So that's a real good possibility. Who knows what the track will be like today? I actually didn't think it was that bad. Uh, when I walked up there and I still don't know if I know anything about reading a track, but um, Like we can use Rockingham and NMCA was probably one of the worst tracks I've walked on mm -hmm. And this NHRA track tonight I, I thought it was good grip and it wasn't super uh, it wasn't gooey and I I overall I didn't think it was that bad. So uh, I'm interested. I don't know if I wish I knew it's so secretive here guys. It's so secretive everything Shh. Yeah. So quiet. I wish I knew what everybody else with thought process was going up there. It seemed like maybe people really went after it. I think people did go after it because, like, I was at, I was first pair out, and uh, so I was the guinea pig, and I went. And yeah, I mean, we even had a buddy so say, oh, people... Lindsay went down the track and ran good, so we didn't flip any switches. Yeah. Right? I mean, it yeah. is, and, like, I don't know. I was real surprised by everybody spinning, and then when Skillman came up, like, I knew he was getting down, and I wanted to see what he ran. I mean, it was a solid 7-9 pass. Yeah. And so I, I guess if he could, I mean, he pulled a pretty good wheelie, too. I mean, so if he could do it. That's awesome. I actually thought your car left kind of soft. Uh, I watched that video probably 250 times. It just seemed like we could have gave it a little bit more. And uh, but the data looked great, and you hit your shifts, and everything was solid. So. How, how are your sunglasses? He got Ray-Ban. Uh, I did. I got Ray-Bans. I look like a 1950s female when I put them oh, on because no. they have the cat wing on the side. It's fine. They it's look pretty fine. solid. You guys will think I'm cute. It's fun. But when he's up there staging. No, it was awesome. It was yeah. cool. It was. I thought that video was cool. I tried to put it on the gram. Guys, I can't do anything for the gram. Yeah. I can barely figure the gram out. It makes me so mad. I just go to Pervanity because I'm good at that. Um, so I was trying to give you my point of view of Lindsay doing a burnout because there really isn't anybody better at doing burnouts than my wife. So that was the perspective I wanted to give, and uh, yet I I give up on that. Yeah. So she'll maybe she'll yeah. do that for well, the gram. Yep. Don't worry, I got you. Tomorrow's going to be a super awesome day, right? Yeah. I mean, I only expect to go better. We have a great base. It's so nice. It, it, that's probably the least stressful thing in the world to come out and not spin and not miss any shifts and just not have anything go wrong now I have three gears of data we have starting line data we have a weather point to match with a 60 foot to match you know what I mean like everything's cool so we got to clean up some cylinders on the fuel we're a little off on a couple 
uh, cylinders there, and I, not, I'm not gonna lie, I think it'll take more on the starting line. So I wanna, I wanna see what will happen. I mean, we have to go for it because, uh, you know, Barton in the in the other Barton built car, Lenny, mm -hmm. uh, they came out and did great. They went 80 flat and 805, mm -hmm. and so we gotta gotta run with those guys. We, really, this would be a great opportunity to show that this car we have can stay in the top eight right now. I, I firmly believe it in my heart. Now we just have to go out and actually prove it. And uh, it that will just send us into a great spot for eliminations. So mm. uh, it would be really nice because could this be old girl chance? over here can drive. So we'll twitch. Old girl. Just cut a light and hit a shift. Just an old lady. Oh my gosh. She's, as she gets older, she gets a little more sensitive with the terms. Yeah, come at me. Kill everybody. The technical terms don't matter. <laughs> Morning. Morning. 8.18. Headed into day two of qualifying. We've got, what, two qualifying rounds. Round one on eliminations are this evening. Busy day. We made the rear gear change yesterday, so the car is fully ready because we were prepared to make another qualifying run last night as it was originally scheduled, but the rain changed all that, so. It was such a close race. I lost by 15 thousandths of a second. We had the fastest 60 foot time in our entire class and finally ran into the sevens. I think my time was 799 to his 795. Got him on the tree. Could have got him a little bit harder on the tree and maybe had that run, but dude, it was a close race. So close. So we packed up, got everything ready. We're going to take the car home. We've got two days before we leave for our next race so we'll get everything cleaned up change the fluids in it um and we'll be ready for the next one so it turns out my mom and dad had accidentally hurt the copo and they did not want to miss this next race so they decided to bring out the drag pack but before they could they had to put in the new lightweight e3 batteries still too small no way, that's probably the right side. Uh, what do I say? Right there. Just put your butt straight down. On this? No, right here. Yeah. And just reach down. Oh, your feet are in the way. You can sit on the other battery. Yeah, sit on this battery. This one's okay. I don't know where you're going to put your feet, but... Is it this way? Yeah, if it gets loose enough, you can stick the other end in. The other end.
driving the drag pack in Norwalk, Ohio for... The weekend was bust a little bit. We had the best weekend in Bristol. The only thing that could have been better, obviously, was like a round win. I never told them why we didn't take the Copo to... Um, wow, it's so bouncy. I can edit anything. The kids can't argue the whole time. So share why we didn't. We didn't. We took the drag pack to Ohio this weekend, and not the Copo, even though all the online groups said that I was driving a Camaro all weekend. I was not. I was in the drag pack. We didn't take the Copo because because 1.5 seconds into that elimination round, we clipped the number seven spark plug and got, took the tip off of it. Got her good. So I missed that tune up a little bit. You know. I don't know, might have been a closer race, might even have been a win, right? So, uh, instead of uh, just doing anything, we're taking that engine out and going to refresh it. And so, that really didn't leave us with any options other than to pull the drag pack out, which we knew wasn't, the testing wasn't complete, right? We, we went and tested it last time and knew we needed to change stators, so we changed stators and actually turned out to be a perfect change, but we've never tested a car with that much torque on a NHRA track so um it was a crapshoot I was optimistic that we could make it work yeah I really thought we'd at least get down the track yep but no nope. but no nope. we didn't we but spun we every time every time so we made it further each time you know we spun at three tenths then we spun it at four and a half tenths and then we actually made it all the way out to eight tenths of a second before we spun, but in the end, the car is fighting itself. The front is coming up, the rear is pushing it back down, and it's not separating like it should. It's not leaving level, and really, it's just it's just fighting itself. We got the converter where we want. Now we get the get the chassis to react like we want, and it'll be fine. We'll get there. Um, We're gonna yeah. test it, get it sorted out. Expect that to be easy, right? Yeah, it's no problem. We've got to ship the engine back to KB Racing and from the Camaro yep. to have that looked over. Get that refreshed. And hopefully, I don't know when our next race is, but for NHRA, we'd have ideally the, the Grey Copo and the um, drag pack there. We'll okay. both. Sure. I'll knock the dust off my helmet. Come out and get in the car. Make sure.